When I was 12, I was invited by my French math teacher to go to Corsica with him and, uh, you know, camp. And I went, and there was these other adults there as well. There was this guy who was a Jacques Cousteau diver, and his wife and their kids, and also his wife's sister, who is this beautiful woman. And one day they were talking about God, and they were very French, and they were arguing about the existence of God. And I sort of joined into this argument. I was like 12. And I got so passionate about the question of God's existence that I started crying. And all the adults were like, whoa, <laughs> this kid's something. And the sister of the wife of my math teacher's friend who worked for Jacques Cousteau took an like, instant liking to me because of my crying during this argument about God. And she started being really nice to me and would like take me into town and buy me like crepes and things. And I don't know how old she was, maybe like early 20s. And she used to, you know, do like topless sunbathing a lot. And I just had this huge crush on her. And at the end of the summer, she gave me her phone number. And she said, I want you to call me the next time you're in Paris. I would like to keep seeing you. And I was like, okay. And my math teacher overheard this. And after she left, he asked me for her number. And I was just a kid. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I gave it to him. And he never gave it back to me. And so I was never able to call her again. And, you know, I was just a kid. I don't think she was, like, looking for a boyfriend. But I think she just could see there was something in my soul that she really liked and wanted to stay in touch with. And I, I just fantasized about her a lot. And when I was older, thinking maybe, you know, something nice could have happened. And I really regretted giving him her number.